Welcome back to our SketchUp and Layout series here. In this episode, we're going to take a look at layout and start getting our construction documents built and put together. So, and we want, we'll wind up switching back and forth from layout to SketchUp in order to fine tune how everything is going to look. So to begin with, once you open up layout, this is your welcome screen and you have your recent files down here at the very bottom. You can open up a file here in the middle and in the top you can create new blank documents. If we go over here to more templates, here you'll see three different tabs. You got just regular blank paper, whether it's graph or plain um, with various different sizes. You have three different storyboards. If you're, you're creating, you know, comic storyboard movie, anything like that. Uh, and then we also have title blocks. And for us, I'm going to go down until the simple serif and use the a3 landscape. Once we click on that and open it up, we have, it comes with two different pages. We got our cover page and then our inside page. And so this is the very first page um, of all of your construction documents. And this one is the cover page that's going to kind of showcase everything. So on this first page, I want a good isometric view of the house and the plot. So if we go up here to our SketchUp model, and if you don't have anything in your default tray, or if you're missing one of these panels, you just like in SketchUp, you can go over to the window tab um, and you can check any of these and these will open it up over here in your default tray. For your toolbar up here, we don't, we're not gonna use a whole lot of your toolbar, but if there's something up there that you need um, you can go to view toolbars and here you can customize um, and there's your main toolbar so to begin with let's bring in our sketchup model and place it here in the very front so let's click on the cover page i'm going to toggle down our sketchup model let's go ahead and go to file insert you want to find that your SketchUp model, wherever you have it saved. Go ahead and click on open. And that will insert our project here. So here we can, we can come in here and move it where we want to and kind of get it a little bit centered. If we click on our project now you'll see everything pop up it'll, it'll show us our sketchup model over here under the sketchup model tab and we have our current scene the line scale we can rasterize it uh, or create make it a vector or make it a hybrid and we'll kind of mess around with these a little bit later on um, and then we have some of our camera views if we click on our scenes, this will show us all of the various different scenes that we have already created. Currently, I don't have a, an isometric view. So if we come over here to our SketchUp, and another thing that we, I wanna make sure we do uh, while we're over there doing the isometric view is I don't want, I want this to blend into our white page. So I want to turn all of this background instead of the gray background that we have currently, I want it to be white. So we want to change it to that construction document um, style inside of SketchUp. So let's go back over here to our SketchUp and let's go ahead and create a new tab or a new scene. So click on the little plus sign over here in your scenes. With that scene, with that scene selected, I'm going to ahead and name it ISO. And let's go ahead and I just need to turn on the plot foundation and the roof. I can go into view and I can actually turn off that axis. And so here is my isometric view. And so let's go ahead and click on this update scenes. 
let's go ahead and change our style. So I want to click on this right here, this construction document style. It comes pre-done with this, uh, with our section cut. So let's go ahead and turn that off. I'm gonna turn off my guides again, or turn off my axis. And let's go ahead and make sure we click on this to update that style and to update our scene. Now that we've done all of that, let's go ahead and go to file, save. If we go back over here to our layout, we'll be able to click on this little icon right here to refresh our SketchUp. And now we have our isometric view shows up. So now we can click on that. And because we changed our style, it kind of seamlessly fits in with our project. You can make this bigger. So we can come in here, click on it, and stretch it out. So if we look down here at the very bottom in our next little part here, we have our client name, project name, project, and all of this information. If we come up here to file and we go to document setup, here our auto text has a few different things. So we have what's called tags, and then we have the auto text that goes along with that tag. And we can come in here and add and subtract whatever we want to with this. So anytime I type in, in brackets, um, page name, it's going to, it's going to auto text cover page. Uh, same thing with page number, etc. So here under our project name, let's go ahead and change this from project name to plan set number nine. Project number, we can leave it like it is. Uh, reissue date, well, let's go ahead and do issue date. Um, we can do this however we want. I'm going to go ahead and, and number this 030122. And then we can do some time later for the reissue date. So let's do a month later. For the company name, we're going to list it as Brandeis Architecture. We're going to leave the 12345 Main Street and we're just going to change this to San Antonio, Texas. So if we look down here at the very bottom, we have drawn by and we have two initials there or two sets of initials. And, but if we look over here to our tags, we don't have any kind of drawn by tag. And so you can actually put in whatever tags you want um, that, that you need for your projects. So I'm going to just come in here and find one of these like company name and I'm going to click on this little icon that duplicates that tag. And so instead of company name, I'm going to change this to drawn by. So let's go ahead and delete that and put in drawn by. So if we type in brackets drawn by um, over here, is what's going to be typed in. So I'm just going to put in my initials and we can put hold down shift, hit our little line to which is right above the inner key and let's put in two other initials. Doesn't matter what. 
So now anytime I type in drawn by, it will put in these initials. You also have a couple different things like we can we can create a grid. So if we want this to be grid paper, we can uh, we can bring that up. See how we can click on show grid and that will show that up. It can be lines. It can be points. We can change the spacing and we can change the spacing between minor and major. So if we, if we don't want the minor ones, we can toggle that off. Um, or if we only want the minor ones, we can do that as well. Um, you have different groups, you have options for your paper. So what kind of, what kind of color it is, what kind of uh, the color, different margins, um, for here, let's go ahead and change our rendering. So we want this to be an output of high display. We can use medium. I, I don't want this to be high for our display because that's going to slow us down whenever we're drawing anything, but our output, we want that to always be high. Here you have our references um, and then our units. So I'm going to change this over to inches and then go ahead and click close. So let's go ahead and stop there. Let's go ahead and save our project. So let's go to file, save as, and changes the untitled part to plan set nine underscore my initials and dot layout go ahead and click save take your screenshots of our first page which is our cover page and in our next episode we'll take a look at changing up our text down the very bottom we'll also add in a little logo and we'll start working on our elevation views